The young boy and academics beef continues. Now, like I said in the last video, these rappers are extremely emotional. And people are just now realizing this. I've been saying this. These gangster niggas, bro. These niggas are unbelievably unhinged, emotional, sometimes even psychotic. These niggas is crazy, bro. And Ak is getting a taste of that shit. Now, Ak released a video recently because him and YB had another spat back and forth on Twitter. And, bro, like, everything I've believed about these niggas, bro, is coming to light, bro. Like, I, I don't mean to sound like a hater. I don't hate rappers. But, like, it's just this this whole, like, cognitive dissonance. This, just this inability to admit that these rap niggas are, like, low-key, like, kind of off, up top. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that inability, we've been we've been unable to admit that for a while. And I think we're, we're, we're coming close to admitting that these niggas might be a little psychotic. So let's look at what Ak had to say. I told you guys to check it out now. Ho, ho, lay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going on with NBA Youngboy. You guys don't know he's been on house arrest for quite a long time. Feels like a couple years at this point. However, it must be the asbestos up in that crib in Utah. Or, I don't know, maybe it's the lead poisoning and the goddamn fingernail polish. Or maybe it's just the goddamn spray paint that he's using to paint his face these days. But he just went... Yo, these niggas is really going at it. Why be called Ak a bitch, though? So I could really understand why Ak is, is firing back. But one of these days, bro, Ak is going to have to realize these rap niggas just don't respect him. Bad on everybody, including me, okay? Well, actually, not everybody, just me. Now, if you guys don't know, um, listen, me and NBA Youngboy, we've been pretty cordial. I would consider that we used to be more than acquaintances. Maybe some would call friends. Regardless, I've had multiple private conversations with him. Now... After a couple days ago where I incorrectly, and I'll admit incorrectly, reported that the beef was squashed between him and Dirk, clearly young boy is not in the mood for none of the stop the violence that he's been preaching the last couple of days. So he took to his burner Twitter because, yes, for whatever reason, he's trying to be edgy by not using his main account. So he used alternate burner accounts. Uh, listen, I don't know. You, you guys figure it out. And he basically said, hey, act. You a bitch, okay? Now, again, I, I figured tip to tat. Listen, I said something incorrect. So, so here's what Youngboy says. Look at this. Look at the screen. Youngboy says this. Act you a bitch along with his industry friends. I love this shit. It turns out the same way every time. At 8.51 a.m. Uh, May 4th, 2023 from Earth. 524,000 views. Then the next tweet says, Act a fat ass hoe. What academics, what did you do to piss off this man, NBA Youngboy? I can almost guarantee that it wasn't intentional. I, cause I don't think Ak has ever intentionally started to be with a rapper in, in, in life. Apparently, it's over the fact that Ak misreported that the beef was over between Dirk and, and, and YB. Which is like, even if he did do that, that's not bad PR for, for YB. YB has lost nothing from this beef. People want to work with Youngboy. Youngboy is not blackball. If people, if, if Youngboy wanted to work with the industry, they'd work with him. I really do believe that. You know, um, there, you know, a petty street beef isn't going to get in the way of people feeding their families and, and making generational wealth. And on top of that, it's like, Youngboy, it's, it's like, if Ak misreported it, why not just call Ak? Academics and Youngboy get along very well. Why not just call Ak or just text Ak? You know, it's the lack of respect that these rappers have for media people in hip hop, which is one of the main reasons why I don't really understand why. And we see this constantly with Vlad. We see this with Adam 22. We see this with academics. Nobody respects hip hop journalism. And that's one of the main reasons why I feel like hip hop journalists need to learn from Adam and Joe Budden as well. You know, figure out how to branch out, figure out how to talk to other people, talk to people in different spheres, talk to people in different, you know, arenas of life. Stop focusing 100% on hip hop and rap, bro. And stop thinking that these rap niggas is your friends, bro. Because a lot of the, bro, NBA young boy is 23 years old with like 11 kids, bro. 23 years old with 11 kids on house arrest, bro. Like, let's really like think about the type of dude we're talking about. No disrespect to young boy, but it's like, at some point, like, Ak has to get real with this shit, bro. Like, you're, you're making friends with people who you know, make a lot of heat-of-the-moment decisions. He was upset about it, but I left it at that. I said, hey, for whatever reason, he didn't feel the need to call me when he usually calls me about everything else. However, I'll just let him be, and clearly, you know, he must be going through some stuff. Okay, now, 
a couple days later, and if you don't know, Lil Durk announced he's dropping an album Friday, and Youngboy popped up and said, he's dropping an album too. Now, after Lil Durk said something which seemingly was a sneak, this, I'll be honest, at Youngboy, where he says, yo, listen, he's glad his music had played on other platforms other than YouTube, basically people always say that Youngboy's the YouTube rapper, right? And Youngboy took offense to it, and he decided to not only diss Dirk, but Dirk's baby mama, and of course, throw good academics in there, okay? Now, uh, he tweeted out a picture of his album cover, which you already know, that's promo. He says, Lil Dirk, you a bitch, and your nasty ass hoe, and it's shown. Academics, Yo! Pure fat hole. Mouth <laughs> hole. From now on, and then it's what the Riches Up. Apparently, his album's called Riches Up. Yo, young boy called, so he said, Ak, he said, Lil Dirk, you a bitch and your nasty ass hoe, and it's shown. And academics, you a pure fat hoe whose mouth gonna be the reason you from now on invalid. That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. This nigga young boy is cooped up in a fucking mountain crevice in Utah. This, they got this nigga, they got this nigga fucking chained to a mountainside. What the fuck? This is, yo, this is crazy. Up. Now, he continued because he then tweeted out directly at India and he says, tell that pussy bitch he bet not drop. He ain't dang pretty lady. Then he at me and he says, Academics, you steady talk about sales, bitch. I'm paid. Can't manipulate me, clown. You embarrass yourself. Simple fact, I can't be fucked with. That's why I'm dropping. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know what? I'm gonna indulge everybody and try to see both sides of this, even though this has something to do with me. Uh, does young boy have a reason or a point to be mad at me because I didn't report the accurate fact that him and Dirk ain't squashed up, right? Um, yes, I think I think that that's a very fair point. If if I got it wrong, I think he has a point to be mad. However, I did take accountability. I did apologize. Okay, now I will also say that what this has shown is that everything that we have perceived about Young Boy seems to be completely a fake and a fraud. And what I mean by that is he's been preaching stop the violence, but now he's trying to make it known that he wants to get violent. Okay, pick a side, brother. Okay, I'm also gonna say that. I've never seen him this overtly try to use controversy for sales. I've talked to him multiple times. He claims he doesn't care about sales. Yet after his last album sold 62,000 copies first week, it's apparent that he his new tactics of trying to sell records is either to overtly, you know, get into some back and forth because he literally tweeted out the album cover with this and a bunch of people. Uh, bro, honest to God, bro, like, one thing that a lot of these rappers got to get a hold of and got to get some sense into their heads about, like, these rap dudes got to realize and understand the simple fact that trying to use beef as a means to propel yourself toward having a much more stable and successful career is just so stupid. It just, and I've said, I've never said this before in a video, but I'm going to say it now. Most of these rappers, they don't realize the position that they're in. Yes, they're rich. Yes, they're famous. Yes, they understand how much clout they have and how much money they have. They brag about it all the time. However, the industry today is a stark contrast from what it used to be. And there's no denying that. Back when I was, uh, when, back when I was like, what, 10 or 11, the, the industry was different back in the early 2010s, late 2000s. Everybody seemingly got along. I'm sure there were tensions behind the scene, but they seemed to be always taken care of. Everybody got along. Khaled, Ross, Drake, Wayne. Nikki, Tyga, Ye, Hove, Big Sean, Wale, Meek. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, Eminem came back. Like, everybody seemed to be working together and getting along just fine behind the scenes. Everybody understood that the main job here is to entertain. We are entertainers. Our job is entertainment. Our business, entertainment. But in this new era, it's being flooded by dudes who don't get, don't understand the program. They don't understand the program. They don't get it at all. They absolutely do not understand what they're involved in. Prime example, 1017. How many people the Gucci Mane signed recently that went up in smoke? Pooh Shicey up in smoke. Big Scar passed away. How many of his, of his, of his artists have gotten locked up? Um, how many of his artists have passed away? How many of his artists have gone by the wayside because of 
unfortunate decisions and being around the wrong circle and doing the wrong things. I mean, Pooh Shiesty robbed somebody in a McLaren, bro. Pooh Shiesty committed a crime in a McLaren on camera and left the money behind at the crime scene, bro. This is the generation. This is the dudes, the type, not even the generation. These are the type of dudes we're talking about, bro. Dudes that don't understand that they are entertainers first. YB is allowing a dude like Dirk to trick him out of his position. YB is more loved and embraced than Dirk. YB should be making the most of this opportunity right now. Instead of sequestering yourself off from the industry, make relationships, make friends. This idea that the industry is all against young boy and everybody hates this nigga and it's just not true. Nikki is doing songs with young boy. Bro, other people fuck with young boy. I know it for a fact. You cannot be as big as young boy and as in my opinion, iconic as young boy and not have at least half the industry thinking like, damn, bro, I would do a song with that nigga if he would just fuck with me. I'm sure Drake would do a song with young boy. What the fuck is Dirk going to say? Dirk can't say shit to Drake. Dirk can't say shit to Drake. He can't say shit. If, if Drake wanted to do a song with young boy tonight, fuck tonight, in the next millisecond, what could Dirk say to Drake? Nothing. Young boy is fucking himself over by entertaining the bullshit from, from, from Dirk, bro. This entire beef, this entire situation between Dirk and young boy is completely from Dirk and the OTF side. Young boy, if I recall correctly, did not start this beef. It was sneak dissing from Vaughn, from Dirk that sparked this. At what point will young boy realize you're entertaining niggas that just aren't, bro, like, bro, like at some point, young boy has to realize you are entertaining a nigga who's got all kind of destruction and chaos going on around him, bro. Dirk has had nothing but destruction and chaos going on around him. Young boy, you are in position to win. And you're letting a nigga like Dirk not only troll you, get a reaction out of you, but also hamper your relationship between yourself and academics. And for what? You're letting him get inside of your head. Now, let's look at some of the tweets between uh, Young Boy and, uh, and Ak. So Ak says this. He says, LOL, I never thought I would see the day that my homie disses me because the sales are low. This rap game is a devil. LOL. Young Boy, I forgive you, man. We could get them sales up otherwise. LOL. But okay. Capitol Records, I blame you for this. Y'all pressuring young boy to get some sales. He's doing anything now. Get my boy off house arrest, though. Why be the last rapper I thought would ever do some shit for sales? But damn. Go buy his album. It drops Friday. He trying to outsell Dirk. I still love him, though. Buy his project. Now, bruh. Act, bro. Like, academics got to realize that in situations like this, don't respond. Because, see, like, bro, like, Ak is low-key, like, trying to, like, be YB's friend in this entire thing. And it's like, bro, this nigga's calling you a bitch. Instead of blaming Capitol Records, instead of blaming the police for putting this nigga on house arrest, blame YB. And if you're not going to blame YB, just don't say anything. But don't get caught. You can't let another, another man can't call you a bitch because you misreported something. And then you sit there and say, ah, it's all good. It's whatever. Like, nah, it ain't all good. The man called you a bitch. You didn't do anything wrong to him. You misreported something. Boo hoo. You're the fucking media. You're going to get false information every now and again. He can call you and say, hey, bro, like that ain't true. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like. If anything happens between me and this nigga, I'll tell you or wait until it comes from XYZ source. That's all YB had to do. But YB is 23 years old, bro. Young boy is an adult. He's an adult. He can behave like an adult. He can act like an adult. Just because he didn't necessarily have the best childhood, we all know that, doesn't mean he's exempt from adult expectations. At some point, academics is going to have to hold YB to a higher standard. It's like, bro, you can't sit there and make a million and one excuses for YB just because he's YB. At some point, academics is going to have to grow a backbone and a spine and realize, bro, you're a media personality, bro. And you cannot enslave yourself to hip-hop. You cannot enslave yourself to these rappers, and you cannot bend over for them. He calls you a bitch, either you're going to confront it and say, hey, I'm not standing for this shit, or just say nothing at all and let him let him go on a tirade and let him crash out. Let him crash out. But, you know, it's 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 crazy how, you know, like, why be is, is just unbelievably emotional. But, yeah, I mean, it's like, LOL, we in a situ and <laughs> LOL, we in a simulation. My dog YB dissed me because he thinks Dirk's gonna uh, outsell him. Well, tune in. Like, you know, at the end of the day, like these rappers are all emotional, bro. Dirk been on social media saying weird shit, like posting weird cryptic messages. You know, Dirk's been over there speaking in like Morse code on it's on Instagram, saying all kind of shit with no real explanation. 
putting together like run on sentences with no grammatical structure. You got YB dissing academics, you know, because Dirk played in psychologically. Like, bro, these rappers are all emotional, bro. These niggas is either, bro, you, you know, niggas used to say Drake was the most emotional rapper in the game, but it's so obvious that it's not Drake, bro. It's these gangster rappers, bro. These niggas fly off the handle at the slightest inconvenience. They go crazy and destroy shit. Prime example being the Meek and Drake situation, right? This nigga Meek caused the worst possible outcome for his career by being what? Emotional. These niggas is emotional, bro. They're emotional. Why be mad at academics as academics misreported something? Like, bro, like, the fact that YB is even entertaining this beef between himself and Lil Durk is ridiculous. You're entertaining a beef with Lil Durk, bro? With Lil Durk? You're entertaining a beef with Lil Durk. You know how crazy that sounds, bro? How much destruction and chaos has happened around Lil Durk and his camp, bro? I mean, I mean that with the utmost respect, but it's true. How much has gone wrong around Lil Durk? YB didn't even start this beef. YB sticks to himself. YB minds his own business. Like... At some point, why do you got to realize, like, bro, why are you even, like, studying Dirk, bro? Like, I understand the whole Vaughn situation happened, but that's something for Dirk to have to deal with. Y'all can pretty much, Quando Rondo, I don't know, but young boy needs to distance himself from that as best as he can. And Quando Rondo. Quando Rondo, he, he kind of, he, he messed up. He automatically, like, just completely absorbed the Vaughn situation when it happened and messed himself up. But... Why be? You can still separate yourself from that. You can still distance your, yourself from the entire Vaughn situation. Don't let ignorant nigga shit fuck you up and turn you off from your blessings. Because that's what's happening right now. Dirk is trying to use YB for his own album promotion, trying to manipulate the beat for his own album sales. YB need to realize, bro, like this nigga trying to bait you into nigga tree and nigga shit so he can sell his album. And that's exactly what happened with the Vaughn shit, bro. You letting these OTF niggas distract you and turn you away from your blessings, bro. Like, let them niggas do what they gonna do. Let them niggas fuck their blessings up. Let them crash out. Let them, like, bro, like, why do you gotta realize, like, bro, you're lowering yourself down to the level of dudes who ain't all the way there upstairs. And that's just my opinion on it. And some people might disagree. Some people are Dirk stands. Some people are YB stands. But objectively looking at it, like, bro, like, YB is wrong for coming at academics. YB is getting manipulated by Dirk. And at some point, YB needs to step away from the situation, let his emotions flow, let it all go, and then look at it like a man and realize you're beefing with somebody who's not in his right mind. You're allowing him to manipulate you. You are allowing a negative, dark cloud to, to come into your life and your career. Like, bro, like, you're good. You got 11 kids, which is crazy, but you got the money. You're living good. You, you got away from that police case. You're on house arrest. You're in Utah. You can recover. You can, you can recoup, bro. Like, don't let dirt trick you out of your blessings and don't get mad at academics because he misreported something and finally for act bro at some point academics you gotta bro you gotta grow a spine bro these rappers don't respect you they're not your friends they're not your friends right i heard too many stories where act is telling stories about you know fucking sway lee and this rapper and that rapper doing this and doing this like bro these rappers don't respect media personalities and that's okay it's okay there's plenty of people that do there's plenty of people that do fuck with you and do respect you but you're never going to get that respect from the rappers, and that's okay. You know, rappers are no longer the, the sole face of the hip-hop game. Media personalities are the new fucking wave, bro. You know, social media influencers are the new wave. You know, there's this new industry forming in this YouTube sphere with people like Sneeko, Aiden, Academics, you know, Fresh and Fit. This whole community of, like, content creators, that's your lane. That's your industry. That's the guys you need to be getting along with. Don't worry about getting along with these rappers. Get money from their labels. If the rappers DM you and there's respect, you interact with them, but you leave it at that. Make friends with the niggas in your actual field. Stop trying to be friends with these rap niggas because they don't respect media niggas. And that's all I got to say, say about that. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.